Welcome friends to a review of the top unit of 100 watt solar panel by facial. So on one side you have what ostensibly is the front or possibly the back with the sticker saying that the open circuit is 22.4 max operating 19.1 and um, this might be the front or the back. I'm, I'm not even sure. Um, and this is where there's this little box with the bypass diode. And this is the other side. What does bifacial mean? It pretty much means that solar could be generated from both sides of the solar panel. So I came up with a test where both are connected. They're both at the same angle, but one is facing uh, the front and one is facing the back. So one is facing one side, one is facing the other side. So what power generation does it have? What is the size of it? And uh, let's have fun. First, let's start with the sizes. So this thing is about 40 and a quarter, I would say 40 and a half, just to be safe from the top to the bottom. And what is the width? Let's see this. The width is about 22 inches so 41 by 22 okay interesting let's look at the build quality of it what i like about this panel is that it has this aluminum framing around it with these holes um hole here hole here there might be some sort of plastic on the other side to be peeled off so let's do that together let's peel this part off if it lets you or maybe that's not to be peeled i don't know where oh this is some sort of peeling going on okay so it's uh charging up the 600 watt bank i'm kind of like blocking it a little bit we're getting 95 with me blocking this much of one of them. That's with two panels connected. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's experiment. Let's put this guy here. And let's put this guy here. As much of an angle as I can. Uh, that's gonna be close enough. And with me in the middle, let's see what, we, what, what we're producing. Uh, 123 and that's with the Sun slightly clouded with the one side producing uh, let's see 45 and the other side producing we don't even know let's see in the next experiment so open circuit voltage um, in real life it looks like about 21 on on this side facing this way and uh, it is 20.99 facing this way. Okay, excellent. Now let's see. Hopefully we can move this apart a little bit to make this experiment slightly better. And now let's connect the first one. Let's see how much power we're getting. So now we connected this left one and we're getting 72 watts from this, this end. 72 watts, okay. Now let's try experimenting with this panel, it's facing this way. This side is getting about 65. Are we getting the same on the on this meter? About 59 coming in. So maybe this one is more accurate. So 66. So this might be actually the reverse of it. But so far, we've seen 72 and 66. It's pretty much similar lighting conditions. Now let's connect both in parallel.
So now we have it running in parallel. We're getting what? 56 watts, 53 from one and 52 from another. 128 total here. 133. So, so far, what my conclusion is, is both sides have a similar possibility of power generation. Uh, next, let's discuss possibly where the usability of such a panel would be. Well, just like previously I mentioned building integrated photovoltaics, you see this wall over here? This is a south facing or southeast or west facing wall. And the way that I'm picturing this is that you use uh, those screws that are uh, rust resistant, anodized, and um, attach it to a wall. I'm, I'm also seeing this panel uh, attaching very easily to maybe a shed or a barn. It already has anchor points. So the benefit of this unit as opposed to standard solar panels, A is it's lighter, B it's reasonably cheap. Uh, it's about $90 a piece. However, there might be an Amazon coupon for like 30 bucks to make a total of $65 with uh, shipping and tax. That's pretty reasonable. I bought this panel because uh, I have the top unit foldable uh, dual sided panel and um, I liked it. I liked what it produces and um, this one was cheaper. The foldable panel probably was 130 bucks or over 100. So, um, however, that was a foldable in a suitcase and it was about half the, the size of this one, but it didn't have the same idea of an aluminum frame with these holes over here. So standard solar panels, they have kind of like a squared off kind of thing. This one, I feel like, um, you could attach to anything and at $65 a piece or let's say even $90 a piece, you're not worried about it breaking or um, you don't have to buy any of those brackets that a lot of people do. Also, what I see with this, the possibility is to do an east-west fence, fencing. So they have these, um, I think they're called U, U posts. Uh, basically stainless steel posts for building fences that you could uh, drill into the ground, like pound right into the ground. So what I'm seeing is that you would just distance them, uh, the distance of the length of this panel and probably put three or four and you could build a privacy fence that actually also generates electricity for you. Because the idea is uh, you could generate electricity from both sides and such an east-west orientation would be kind of like uh, no man's land. Uh, like because the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, uh, you would have generation both uh, early in the morning and late in the evening. So this is right now slightly cloudy. So let's see what the total generation power is right now. Uh, 11 watts only. I don't know if you guys could see this. This is not actually blinking, that that's the camera being 60. Okay, 12 watts, 45, 65. This can uh, take up to 200 watts input. And since both are pretty much similar voltages, 54 on this one, 56, side by side. And over here, we see 138. Okay, that's interesting. So what this experiment shows is this panel doesn't really care what side you face it. So the solar fence would be really good. Another idea that I had is that there is this um, roofing material. It's a roofing and a building kind of like a covering material. It's called Aluma Flash. Aluma Flash, just research it. Long story short 
it's a butyl sided one side is butyl sided that it attaches to even plywood and makes it waterproof and on one side it has aluminum on it so that will be reflective so possibly something like that if you made a roof out of that and have a slight standoff with this however uh, in such a situation where you have one side covered up I would probably just go maybe with a standard panel however um, this is kind of nice I like that it's light it's about 4.5 pounds each uh, but if you're carrying it you want to use both hands there's a, there's a manual that came with it and uh, this is what it says over here um, basically it says carry it like this don't try to carry it by one side that makes sense because inside is uh, crystals and you don't want them to crunch sometimes when you're holding a, a foldable solar panel you grab by the edge uh, you hear a crunch that means uh, that some of those solar cells might be actually uh, breaking down or degrading because technically it might be glass inside there that this might be a solar panel that's encased uh, on plastic on the outside but in the inside those actual cells are actual um, glass possibly so it could break if you don't handle it correct that's kind of interesting I like the different colors so this feels like it might be polycrystalline no, don't hold me to that but because of the difference of the colors polycrystalline means different crystals however if I understand it correctly the polycrystalline is just the same way as in this one and on this side you have mm, kind of like a a squared off kind of feeling this is a, I believe ETFE coating and some of the most expensive uh, foldable solar panels actually use ETFE coating oh and this stuff actually covers up this plastic covers up the aluminum frame so that's the peeling of it that we do you're not hurting it um, so let's see that's kind of nice Let's see what it's producing. Total 101. So it's jumping around 51 and 53. So same power generation. Now let's see what it generates just being flat on the ground. Because you don't always have something to lean it against. So let's see what it's like if we just drop it down to the floor. Like this. And like this. So we got these two panels standing like that. See, no shadow from me. Uh, the left one is producing 27, and the right one is not producing nothing, 15.3. 40 watts total. However, I think that's the sun. Now it's 77, 78. Uh, I believe it's the sun kind of like acting up a little bit. 17 watts boom jumping around I think it's blinking because like the amps are going down or maybe it's just the meter this way all right friends let's quickly read the manual because it might have information that we didn't get into in this review hopefully you guys are enjoying this review so thumb it up right now while we're talking so English user guide in the beginning it talks about the different um specs 22 or 21 uh let's see what they're producing right now with the sun more or less out uh we got 102 is jumping around here now it's doing zero okay so let's continue reading this thing Thank you for choosing our product. Email topunifegy at there.com. Okay. Now let's see what it says here. That's the model. Peak power is actually supposed to be 110 watts or about five amps. 
maintenance this uh, has a double-sided generation capacity which can effectively improve uh, output the, out, the largest increase is 10 to 20 percent so perhaps if it's angled and it has a reflective side on the back perhaps that um, luma flash stuff optimal conditions set it at 30 to 60 stuff instructions pwm don't have the dirt and the debris um, usually solar panels are pretty simple here are the tips don't connect in uh, more than six in a series of peril uh, charging don't attempt to charge external battery that is not rechargeable okay probably not a good idea you're right quality warranty 12 months quality warranty that's nice you know what does this mean who knows uk declaration and then this uk stuff okay anything here uh crap and now it's in uh, another language now let's see what it's producing right now at this angle it's jumping around actually getting shit production excuse me for using that word let's actually put it at the correct angle and see what it produces then like this and like this okay now it's producing 40 watts are we giving getting an issue here 46 jumping around 77 Okay, 97 watts. Oh, I'm kind of blocking this one off a little bit. Okay. 106. So, what do I think about these panels? They both work. I like that they're double sided. I like the possibility of building a solar fence. I like the idea that it's a cheap panel. They don't care if somebody steals because it's like 65 bucks. I mean, it depends on your uh, ability to care how much, uh, you know, is stolen from you. Um, I like that it's double-sided. So there's some benefits. I enjoy the price. It is generating electricity, which is important. And let's see. Let's see if producing by itself. Unplug this. Unplug this. And re replug this. Okay. So we have one panel producing huh, all over the place. Uh, it's because it's the sun is moving around in the sky. 43. So we've already seen 65 to 70. This is the right panel, by the way. It's producing 40 about right now. 16. Uh, that's with the clouds moving in the sky. Let's disconnect this guy and connect this other guy. Okay, we're getting about 80 watts. Wow, that's actually pretty, the highest that um, I've seen thus far. 73 on this end and 80 on this guy. So I got a feeling maybe this one might be more accurate. I don't know. So between 75 and 80, that's pretty good. We're seeing a stable 73. So this is probably actually at the front. Oh, get it? It says top unit over here. Um, so perhaps maybe this is the ideal orientation that it has up with the little pyramids going upwards this way. Um, 36, 77, 71. Now let's disconnect this one. 
We're doing it on an individual basis because there might be some sort of a back feed or maybe one of these wires is better than the other. Let's just see by itself what, what it produces. 55, it's jumping around, 50. That's with the sun moving in the sky. About 50, 16, okay. Zero because of the cloud, nine. I'm talking about all over the place. Okay, so what is the conclusion? The conclusion is this side with the box is probably ideally on top. Probably this part could be opened up to reveal a diode. Um, the rating says that it's waterproof or IP like 65 or something like this. So splash proof, so nothing to be worried about it being in the sun. Um, what else? I mean, a Jeep panel that is double-sided, that is light, easy to carry. That's what I like about this. You know, just think about it, 65, $65. If you got it on sale, if you got, if you got lucky, you multiply that by six panels. It says don't put more than six together. What, you got $360, $400, $400 for 600 watts. And then you could put these all over your camp, like um, lean them against your car have your solar generator inside because it's a solar generator that's the more expensive part and now we have a 600 watt uh, watts of solar that you could have in the back of your car technically could fit also um, by this length over here I measure my Highlander it's about 43 inches across on the rooftop so technically I could take two of these panels and put it on the rooftop if I wanted to let's say glue them down However, for a rooftop, like on a car, I would probably use um, a six panel. Overall, I, I say it's a good buy because these two panels, 200 watts of solar cost me, what, 130 bucks delivered, brand new. Um, they have their own potential and eventually I could use these off grid. And one of those things also like with our money supply going to infinity with the 34 trillion, in debt, uh, perhaps having a few extra solar panels might be a good idea because you could always charge different battery banks, such as this one. The reason why I also got this this bank is because um, it can do up to 200 watts input. It has the orientation on the PVN with the plus and the minus rather than the standard Anderson. It has a, this kind of like a modified with the red on top instead of on the right. So together they're producing 120. Um, so what I did was I took one of the adapters they gave me and I cut it off and just put a standard Anderson on it so I could use it with my standard equipment. Uh, I like this one, it's 600 watts. It can charge up to 200 watts input, which is really nice. And um, yeah that's nice for a 600 watt bank because a lot of times 600 watt banks only charge at 100 watts an hour so it takes six hours and forever to charge it but this one can charge at a faster rate which is nice and it has you know power delivery it has ac output so i think it's a 600 watt pretty de decent on top there's a little chi charging thing so that's why i'm also testing it with this because it could handle both solar panels at once um yeah 134 now it's producing so with the foldable solar panels that i've bought in the past i've seen as high as 150 155 so in a way a foldable solar panel might be more convenient because um you don't have all these extra wires and it's easy to fold up and it takes up less space and you can throw it in the trunk easier that's the negative about this one um however that's 100 this is 130 meanwhile the 200 watt solar panel is probably going to be like 200 dollars and change to 250 so overall, it's a, it's a nice buy. I'm happy I did it. And now I have a couple extra solar panels and now I have a review for you guys. So tell me what you guys think. Tell me what, like if you bought this panel, what would you do with it? Like, uh, would you attach it to a wall? Would you attach it to a barn? Would you attach it to, you could pretty much screw this onto anything. That's pretty awesome. So take an old fence, boom, cover it up. Or take a chain link fence and you could put, um, 
uh, you know those plastic zip ties? And then you're and then you're you're attached to it. So if you live in the city and you have a chain link fence, boom, you could turn the whole entire fence into a, a solar generation system, which is kind of awesome. It's already there. It's not costing you anything extra. So this is this is why I bought it. It's the easy mounting system. With the foldable systems, you don't have that. And also, I like that it just has the standard MC4 as opposed to the fold up. As opposed to just the fold up one, um, because. I can actually attach it to things. This uh, this could be more usable in the future. All right, friends. Um, I'll talk. I'll see you in the next one. Tell me what you guys think. I had to test this out either way. This is the first time I have it out. I bought this myself. Uh, nobody sent it to me for free. I just find cool stuff on uh, on Amazon, and I just uh, decide to review it too. So hope you guys like my work. I'll talk to you soon, and God bless. Bye bye.